Good, happy Monday morning, everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And welcome to the Riley King Newscast, to a brand new week. Let's get started. We have a lot of news to get to, so let's begin. We're following breaking news. Keen firefighters battling three-alarm fire on Beach Street. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. It's offering the biggest total sale on select models in Hyundai's 30-year history. Like the 2017 Elantra for only $99 a month. The Thompson Auto And we continue to follow that breaking news out of Keene tonight. These are some of the first images of that fire just into the newsroom of the three alarm fire at a home on Beach Street. Multiple departments have been called to that scene. No word on any injuries at this time. We will continue to update you on this breaking story on WMUR.com. Okay, and there you go on that report. We will keep you updated as we get more information into our newsroom. Police Coast Guard searching for missing man after finding his car. Police officers and Nat Hunt found a vehicle belonging to a missing man from West Watertown, but the man is nowhere to be found. A vehicle that Nolan Gergas, 26, was presumed to be using was discovered Sunday in the East Point near Nanhunt, police said. The discovery prompted a search in the area, but Gorgas was not found. The U.S. Coast Guard was called in to do search of coastal areas, but so far, that effort has also been fraughtless. Gorgas is described as being six foot two inches tall, 150 pounds, with brown hair and brown eyes. He may be wearing a t-shirt, brown pants, and boots. Anyone with information about Gorgas or who may have seen him is asked to call Nanhunt Police at 781-581-1000. Two one two or Watertown Police at six one seven nine seven two six five zero zero. Main Police kick off click it or ticket it campaign. Beginning Monday, Maine police agencies will start a two-week law enforcement campaign to encourage drivers to buckle up. Maine law requires all passengers wear seat belts. The Click It or Ticket campaign also includes special law enforcement Monday. As the kickoff of the busy summer driving season, it's crucial that everyone buckles up day and night. No excuse, Robert William of Maine State Police said in a news release. Chippers are prepared to ticket anyone who is not wearing their seat belt, including drivers who have neglected to buckle their children. The Maine Bureau of Highway Safety provided more than 3,300 3, to 45 Maine police departments for overtime for 
the two-week campaign. Seatbelt Hughes, it main remains high, officials said, but statistics show majority of people killed in fatal crashes in Maine were unbuckled. Fines are for not wearing a seatbelt starts at 50 for the first offense. The campaign ends June 4th. Everyone should always wear their seatbelt, no matter what state you are in. You should always wear it for safety. Ford Motor is replacing Mark Fields as CEO. In a shakeup reflecting the pressure of on the American auto industry, Ford Motor is replacing Chief Exec Executive Mark Fields, according to officials briefed on the move. Trump to meet with Israel and Palestinian leaders separately. Let's take a listen to this video from ABC News. I assume Wi Fi is important at home. Can't live without it. Computers, tablets, phones. How does your Wi Fi keep up? Seems like it drops out a lot. Did you know Xfinity has the best in home Wi Fi experience? No, but I'd love to try it out. Well, we're going to put this to the test. So let's pretend this is your home. Bring in the devices. Here comes Kit, Elena, Joe. Everyone's streaming something different. Looks great. Crystal clear. I might have to make the switch. Switch to Xfinity from Comcast for $89.99 a month for two full years. Don't wait. Click today. Thank you. I would like to thank King Solomon for his extraordinary words and the magnificent kingdom of Saudi Arabia for hosting today's summit. I am honored to be received by such gracious hosts. I have always heard about the splendor of your country and the kindness of your citizens. But words do not do justice to the grandeur of this remarkable place and the incredible hospitality you have shown us from the moment we arrived. You also hosted me in the treasured home of King Abdul Aziz, the founder of the kingdom who united your great people. Okay, there's a look at that speech President Donald Trump did when he was over there. Next up on the President's foreign trip is Israel. The two-day visit there will include private meetings with Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Natuhu and President Palestinian Authority President Mohammed Abbas, a Worsley, Worsley mm -hmm. lying at the Holocaust Memorial Yad Vasha, and a visit to the Western Wall in Jerusalem. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday. See you back here later on today. Bye, everyone.